The unique command is a Linux text utility that finds duplicated lines in a file or data stream. It is part of the GNU Core Utilities package and is available on almost all Linux systems. The main thing to know about Unique is it only finds duplicate adjacent lines. Meaning the duplicated line must follow directly after the original to be detected. In this short tutorial we will show you how to use the Unique command. We will discuss its basic usage and some of its command line options. In addition, we will examine the differences between using sort minus U and Unique. Let's get started. The most basic way to use Unique is to invoke the command and follow it with a file name as an argument. Let's take a look at an example. We will use a file called test.txt with the contents on the screen. There are a few things I want you to take notice of in our example input file. First, the line, he also likes pho, in between all of the pizza lines. Second, I included several blank lines after the, Italian food, line. This will help us demonstrate how unique works and how it only finds, adjacent, lines. Now, let's pass our input file to unique and see what happens. In this example, the unique command successfully filtered out the duplicated lines but, it left two of the same exact pizza lines. This is because they are not adjacent. It also removed one of the repeated blank lines. Since Unique uses a new line character for field separation, it will also detect adjacent blank lines. The Unique command has a few command line options to allow you to customize the output or further extend its usefulness. Let's take a look at some examples of how these options work. The minus C option will print the number of times each line is repeated. When using this option, Unique will prepend each line with the number of times it was repeated or duplicated. Again, it is important to point out that it only counts adjacent lines. The first line has a 1 prepended to it because there were no other adjacent duplicate lines. The third has a 3, because there were 3 duplicate lines. Even though the text was exactly the same as line 1, it was not adjacent and therefore ignored. The minus capital D option will only print the duplicated lines of the file. All lines not found to be adjacent duplicated lines will be ignored. Using the minus lowercase d will print a single instance of each group of duplicated lines. In contrast to the minus D option, the minus U option only prints lines that are not adjacent to a duplicate line. You can use the minus I option to ignore case while using unique. In this example we see that the lines are not found to be duplicates because the letter B is lowercase in the second sentence. Now if we add the minus I option they will be found as duplicates because case is ignored. You can use the minus F option to skip the first X number of fields. This is very handy when working with log files or other timestamped files. Here is an example of a log file where each line starts with a timestamp. If we used unique no lines would be duplicated because the timestamps all differ. Now we can use the minus F option to tell unique to skip the first X number of fields. Unique uses a space as a field separator, so we will use 4 to ensure Unique ignores the timestamps. Similar to ignoring the first X fields, we can use the minus S option to ignore the first X number of characters. Using the same example, we will use minus S followed by 21 to ignore the first 21 characters which make up the timestamp. Remember, spaces count as a character. The fact that Unique only finds adjacent lines is not really a deficiency, although some people categorize it as such. There is a glaring difference between sort minus U, and Unique. Sort does just that, it sorts the input in some manner, depending on its options. Whereas Unique prints the text in its original order. 
Whether this is important or not depends on what you are using it for. If you grep IP addresses out of a log file and need to remove duplicates, then it probably won't matter if they are sorted. In this case you would want to use sort-u to ensure you don't have duplicates. If you are working with a written document, or other document where the order of the lines are important, then you would want to use unique. Even with something as rudimentary as our food example, you can see how sort-u, changing the order of the text can be problematic. The unique command itself is unique. Although sort can also remove duplicate lines, it lacks some of the functionality provided by the extended options of unique. In my opinion, these tools are often unfairly compared. If you enjoyed this article please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when new videos are published. A text version of this tutorial is available at www.putorius.net. A link is provided in the description.